So I'm here with Colin Urquhart. Colin, thank you for joining me today. And we're here to talk about a new project that you've been working on. Do you want to explain just a little bit about what it is? Well, it's a new translation of the New Testament called The Truth New Testament. It's called The Truth because Jesus said that knowing the truth sets you free. And Jesus Christ is the truth. So there's lots of different versions of the New Testament. Why did you think it was right to do another version? Well, first and foremost, it was an act of obedience to the Lord. He told me to do it. And I had no desire ever or any thought that I would ever do a translation of the New Testament. So when the Lord told me to do it, my question to him was, well, why? And this was when he explained to me that he wanted a version not by an academic scholar, but by a preacher who was used to drawing out the meaning of the text, because it's only if people understand the word that they're going to apply it to their lives and really live in the good of the word. They're going to do it rather than just read it and study it. So how is this version different to the others that are out there? Well, I started by a very um, close translation with the Greek. You know, being the principal of a, of a Bible college, um, I'm very concerned to see that people are reading what is accurate. But then I ask the question, right now, how do I say this in modern language in a way that will be understood in our contemporary society? So it's taking that truth and then expressing it. So I wanted to draw out the meaning like that, but to make it an easily readable book. That sounds like a great new version. Who are you aiming it at? Well, two categories of people, really. First of all, it's an ideal translation for new Christians or those who are seriously inquiring into the faith. You know, somebody you would want to say to them, well, read this because this will change your life. Uh, but it's also going to be very, very useful for those who are already Christians. I've had a number of people using it for some months now, and the feedback that I've had has been very, very positive and very, very encouraging because, you know, one person even told me he was up into the early hours of the morning because he didn't want to put it down. It, he, so much understanding was coming, so much revelation um, although he was very familiar with the scriptures. So that's exciting. So I think, I think many, many Christians will be able to use it in that way. So you've talked about how you can flow through it, but can you go through it verse by verse and look something up? Yes, you can. Originally, I didn't include the verse numbers because I wanted people to read the passages, not just to take sentences out of their context and make them mean whatever they wanted them to mean. Um, but then, as I began to use it myself, I found it so frustrating if I wanted to look up a, a particular passage and verse and, and to sort of compare it with, with others, that I, I thought, you know, this is going to be um, difficult for people. So we then put all the verse numbers in, which actually was quite a job. But we've done it in such a way that it's not intrusive in the text and people can just read, read through quite easily. And finally, the question everyone wants to ask, are you thinking of doing an Old Testament version as well? I'm trying not to think about doing it. Um, doing the New Testament has been hard work because it's been two years of intensive work in between all the other things that, that I'm doing. And uh, the Old Testament is three times as long as the New Testament. But, as with everything, if God tells me to do it because he wants me to do it, then I've learned not to argue with the Lord, mm. I would do it. But before I even think of that, uh, I'm now working on an annotated version of the New Testament. Uh, this will give um, a lot more study material to people, but without so much detail that it becomes a study Bible. I want it to be something very usable. So there will be further explanation of why Jesus said this or did that or why Paul is, is speaking in this way or what is the situation that this particular letter is addressing, things like that, that will help people to understand the context in which the scriptures were written. That's great. Thank you so much for talking to me today. Thank you. And if you'd like to find out any more information about how you can get hold of your copy of The Truth, then visit www.kingdomfaith.com.